Good morning. Saturday the 28th of January. I am up in Glen Falloch in Vararnan. I'm out with Craig. So we've just parked the car. I don't know if you can just make it out through the, the trees there. There's a wee, a wee in shot. There's enough parking for three cars. So we're in there. Basically walked along the path. Come over the, the gate. And we're heading up in this direction. So we're out to do the Corbett Milan food there. The Hill of the Powder. It's actually quite nice this morning. Clear, dry, which is the main thing. So it's a pretty good pass all the way in here. And then we get to a point where we cut off up through the bog so let's see how we go Five or ten minutes into the walk. Come here, splitting the path here. Pretty obvious, we're going uphill. You can actually use that path to go back down under the railway bridge and the way back down, but onwards and upwards. So it's long about 20 minutes or so. Come to a fork in the path, go left, or you go right. We are going right. Always handy when you get the GPS telling you about where you go. Last time I was up here, I was meant to meet up with Tam and Dave, uh, the Monroe bagger, and Dave fell off in the wild side. Uh, things didn't they? quite go to plan shall we say there's a video there if you want a good laugh <laughs> I'll put a link at the end of this one but anyway let's see cracking morning tops are clear up all looking good so onward and upward So, it's about 35, 40 minutes in and the wee cairn on top of our rock there just marking the cut-off point so we are now heading up onto the hillside up through the, the bog about 50 minutes in just over 300 meter mark just making our way up the path I can't believe how, how mild it is it's really warm not complaining too much <laughs> So it's just over an hour in and 
we are heading up in this direction. So this is, excuse the pronunciation, but it looks like Troy Troisgak or something. So once we hit the top of that, we're still another two kilometres further on to get to Milan Fuda. But I just basically peeling off the jacket and everything there. I'm, I can't believe how mild that is, like I said, it's, it really is pretty warm. Grinding conditions. Let's see. Some of the tops are clear, some of the, the clags just rolling in. And out. But it's just a steady slog up through the boggy path. So. I'll get my finger out and catch up with Craig. It's hard. It's a bit of a slog to say the least. But we are getting there, slowly but surely. The views are opening up now. Stunning. Seeing how warm it was, couldn't believe it. It's not so warm now, <laughs> it's getting a bit chilly, but we are getting nearer our intended target, which is good. Craig's just layering up there. So it's probably near about two and a half hours. We've reached a, a very frozen locking. It really does look cool if you pardon the pun. Right. But there's our target ahead, so just got across here up onto a ridge and up onto the summit. Us. I made it eventually. That's like just over three hours to get to the summit here. Milan Fuda. Got a trek. Some good views. Didn't they? Lock Sloy, the dam. Crank with a, a clag rolling in. Really atmospheric. Bit chillier, but no, no freezing. So, grab a wee bite to eat and start making our way out. That's the summit up there, we land through there. I'll tell you, work hard for that core, but anyway, it's another one in the bag. All good.
That's us fretting water, just leaving the summit. Milan Fooder is up here in the clay. And we are heading basically back down the way you come up. So the sun's coming and going, the clag's rolling in and out. It's actually been quite a good wee day. Bit of trek in there, like I say, that was all three hours to get in there. It is a long walk in, and then obviously a long walk out, but enjoyable. That's us almost back at the car. Like I said, there was no point in filming. Basically head back the way you, you went in, so pointless. But anyway, we're just finishing off the walk. So it's like five and a half hours to now. So we're only five minutes up to the motor there. Um, 9.89 kilometers, I think it was. Pretty tough going. It's, <laughs> it's a long day for a week or but but uh, weather was fair. Pretty kind days and that, so can't complain. So, once again, if you've watched this far, thank you very much, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.